All right, I'm going to try Dave's coat. Power this on. All right, at that battery voltage, I'm getting like half the current that I should be getting. Let's try this. I'm going to call Dave on Fluke Connect. So can you see my uh, data? Yeah, I'm seeing your data. Um, I've got temperature and then two voltage readings, and I also have your image, which is a good deal. Uh, your profile is supposed to give a half amp charge current. So my, uh, at a half amp, my current sense resistor should be 100 millivolts. Alright, I'm running the program, but I'm only getting about, I'm getting 46 millivolts. We're expecting to get uh, 500 milliamps, so that would be 100 millivolts, and we're only getting half that. Right, right. Uh, I'm loading the profile you gave me, and it's charging, but I'm only getting the 50 millivolts. Right, I expect 100. So uh, it sounds like you got one bit shifted to the right, and you, you're giving us half the current. Yeah, no, this is, we're running the same firmware that I had running when I did this exact same test. Uh, Let's try a couple things first. Could you put your finger down on the battery charging chip to see if it's uh, limiting itself based on... Oh, it's very cool. And you can see the battery uh, temperature itself. I've got the thermocouple on the battery temperature itself, and it's uh, the battery temperature is room temperature, and the chip is cool to the touch. i got the thermocouple on the battery temperature itself, and it's uh, battery temperature is room temperature, and the chip is cool to the touch. Can you set a watch list and see what the current register is reading? Yeah, yeah. I've, I have it on the watch list and it's uh, 0C. I will, um, let me point the camera at it and so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, let me, let me take a look. See how I've got the current sense resistor and everything set up like that. Um, so I'm going to run the program. All right. Hey, what's that, what's that red light that's on your supply? Uh, your, your bench supply. Oh, wait a minute. It's, in, it's current clamping. Let me, okay, there, now it's not uh, current clamping anymore. Oh, and now I have 98.1 millivolts. Yeah, yeah, I see the I see the step function right on right on my readout here. So it looks like it was something with your supply voltage? Yeah, I had a wrong setting on the power supply. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I was worried there for a minute that it was exactly half. That's a concern. But it looks like we we've got a we've got a test setup that's now working the exact same way that it worked on my bench. Yeah, now I can rerun the uh, time charge test and uh, run the verification test and it should pass this time. So thanks a lot. Yeah, no problem. Let me know if you have any other issues and we can get this spun up again. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.